everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're here at Furion's World Headquarters in Elkhart, Indiana, and we're taking a look at a motorhome that actually has a helicopter pad. This is the Furion Elysium Custom Coach Diesel Pusher. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited. We're here at Furion's head, world headquarters. Well, do a quick 360 for us. This is their world headquarters here in Elkhart, Indiana. And if you guys don't know, Furion is the leader of electronics and innovation for the RV community. Um, so I'm really excited to show everybody this motorhome with a helicopter pad. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey everybody. how's it going? Good. Everybody might be wondering if you're wondering by now, where's Andrea? She did not want to come to Indiana with us. Yep. But I got Will here. He's uh, my cameraman for this week. And uh, how excited are you of taking a look at this? Really excited. It's the coolest motorhome I've ever seen. Coolest motorhome I've ever seen as well. Yep. And what's really exciting is uh, we will be going up on the roof to check out that helicopter pad. Cool, so let's begin. Model is the Elysium. This is one of one. This was a custom motorhome made exclusively for Furion. We don't know much about it. We don't know what <clears throat> chassis. We did see that it does have an Allison transmission. I'm going to assume that it's a 400, 450 Cummins engine from checking out the back. And I'm also gonna assume that it was made on a Freightliner chassis. But look at the front design. I absolutely love what they have going here. It's funny because um, they built this motorhome for promotional use, but it's actually a usable working motorhome. And I think some of the features that they did in this motorhome uh, they can use for modern motorhomes like these blue LED lights here. I think that looks awesome and I think that's very important. Now the only thing is I'm wondering is legally for being road safe if that's not allowed because I, I know you can't have the amber glow lights right but you um, can have the blue lights. But they do drive it. But they do drive it but maybe they have like a role they can only drive it during the day. You have a nice big windshield up there window wipers and then coming down the side there's cameras 360 degrees and this is going to be a really good promotion for Furion because as you look here these are all Furion cameras and you can buy these for any of your travel trailers or motorhomes uh, and it clips onto the side so you still have your marker light and you have your camera right there <laughs> right here check out these tires Will they're good to your tires 295-80R 22.5 you got these nice rims, Furion everything. And they, they, they put the Furion hubcap on, so it's hard to see what manufacturer made the chassis. But check out these windows. Yeah. Look at this. These windows are the biggest windows I've ever seen on a motorhome. Frameless windows, and it looks really cool. Also, look, they used a rack and pinion slide out system. And let's check out to see what we got going on here. So look, the storage door lifts up. You do have some pass-through storage right here. It is kind of weird seeing that water tank there. But again, why they probably made this, they probably weren't thinking about real storage on a consumer level. They were making it more for promotional use. Still, I can't wait to show you guys the inside. Okay, check this out. Nice raised rail chassis. No pass-through storage tray. I wish they would have had that, but still very, very nice nice aluminum flame latch doors so this building's empty right now and my voice echoes so i'm trying to keep it down <laughs> and it's an office building yeah well it's their ward headquarters that's where you all uh, fill up your fuel got a little bit of that right there more storage right there look at that oh man this your carefree awning control. Oh. See, I really like that. So everybody uses the, when, when you're up in the higher end motorhomes, everybody uses the Girard awnings. And they're fancier and they have that remote button. 
and I'm fine with the remotes, but you should always have a manual way or just a secondary way to open and close your awning. I just think it's really important. This is locked, 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 but if you see here, they have another marker light with a camera. That is so cool. And this is what you can do. You can upfit your motorhomes to do the same thing. Again, with the nice big window, look at that frameless awning right there. And then check out these tires. Nice tag axle motorhome, Goodyear. And again, I thought I would have been able to tell who the chassis manufacturer was from looking at them. Is that a light? Oh, no. No. Coming down the side. Well, here's your electronic components. A little dirty and dusty. You know. You're used to reviewing new motorhomes, huh? I am, I am. This one, well, here's what's awesome about this. They use this motorhome actively. Whenever you go, whenever they go to shows or whatever, they drive this there and they can actually drive it with the helicopter on top. Not on top. Yeah, no, on top. Well, not no. on top, but it, we'll, we'll tell talk, you, we'll yeah. tell you about it later. Coming around the back, Furion backup camera here and backup camera right there. This is so you can see your tow vehicle, what's going on, and that's so you can see below it. In the I wonder box. if this is a TV. Oh my gosh. Well, that is a TV. That is so cool. Look, look at the name, Elysium, yeah, Elysium in the back. That is a TV and how great would it be to go to like NASCAR races or whatever <laughs> and to have a big screen TV on the outside of your motorhome. I don't think you can get that on, on uh, Amazon. No, I don't like that's that. pretty cool. But again, just the tail light design. You know, it's it's so sad, not sad, but this is this is a motorhome not for sale. But a lot of their designs is just so cool, sleek, and modern. And I wish they made it for the public. There you go. Propane, that's propane tank, battery, fuse boxes. So yeah, that's electronic. I guarantee you. That is the TV on the outside. Here's the other side of your tires. Again, with your Furion side marker light. Okay. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, that's a, that's bar a, that's a barbecue. Out. Yeah. Pull out storage thing. Yeah, it's pull out storage and there's a barbecue grill right there. Yo, this would be, this would be the best motor home to take to a football game. <laughs> yeah, it would. Okay. Finishing up. Just a little bit of stuff right there. Custom probably. Yep. And then the other storage is just the other side of the passenger storage. Whoa, whoa. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I need to tell my shoe on. Tire shoot will. Sorry. You're just messing up the whole show. <laughs> you know, Andrea always has her shoes tied. <laughs> Good job. All right, check out the inside. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Take a look at this. Is this not incredible? Walk all the way down, Will, and then come back up. We're gonna put the slides in? <laughs> no, no, we're not putting the slide outs in. So you know what we're gonna do, Will? What's we're that? gonna start up top. Okay. Check this out. This is the stairwell to the helicopter pad. This and time I can get up on the roof with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little tight right there. It is. Do you think this meets building codes? Oh my God, Will. I know, did you see that? There's a jacuzzi up mm -hmm. here. So first, check this out. This is a helicopter pad, and this isn't just for show guys. This helicopter pad actually drops down like a toy hauler, so you can drive with the helicopter actually attached to this motorhome. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen on an RV. Imagine going to a NASCAR race in this <laughs> with, you know, this is the coolest thing. Stop. What? 
Oh, uh, I thought you were going to get in the hot tub. Oh, I am going to get in the hot tub. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this hot tub. You got these safety bars right here. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Imagine sitting here watching the race. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Is it not? It really is. So also, is that our deco? Where? It is? Yeah. Our deco. <laughs> Again, we gotta be quiet because people are working in these offices. So I don't wanna be too loud. But so. Like this, this building, though, now that we're on top, it's just kinda like something from the future. Right, and, and then look, that's their sales center. That's where they sell refrigerators, TVs, air conditioning units. And then this deck slides down. It's it's the craziest thing. And then we have the helicopter pad on top. And then look at this. So this drops down as well. Yeah. I wonder what happens with the bars. So I wonder they if it probably would be too come high. Off. Yep. Uh -huh. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the scary part. Here, give me the camera. I'm good. Yeah. I mean, did you want? No. Oh, okay. See that thing looking at us? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So inside the Furion, Elysium. Let's get started up front. Imagine whose job this is. To drive, to drive this to event to event. You, this, you know, we talk about command centers. This is your command center. You're gonna have your LED screen right there. This is gonna be touch screen. Look, you got your camera on that side and that side over there. Look at that, that's so you can see what's going on right there. And you have a huge windshield. Not only that, right here, you have your Allison transmission. So we do know it's Allison. Auto leveling right here, tag dump. Furion 12 volt. Mm. They put a Furion logo on everything, so I can't tell who the chassis manufacturer is. But looking at it, this is definitely probably Freightliner. Freight yeah. yeah, for sure. Sit in my co-captain seat, Will. All right. So that's the co-captain seat. Comfy chair. Well, Will, anything with a helicopter pad should have a comfy yeah. seat. These seats do swivel around, come part of the living room area. And then look at this, you have your cameras on your side for your marker lights there. Also, that's a camera right there, so Will can no, see. That's a control panel. Oh, is it the control panel? Sure is, one control. Ah, uh, yep, very nice. And so everything's access right there. Oh. A dimmer. Oh, it's getting bright in here. Very nice. Good job, Will. Okay. Let's check it out. So inside the living room area, look at the lights. I am so surprised RV mm -hmm. manufacturers aren't doing this. Everybody's doing the puck lighting. They have the LED light strip up here, the ambiance right here. Nice slide outs, it's crazy. This motorhome only has two slide outs, but they're opposing in the living area and there's no slide outs in the bedroom, obviously. Oh, and then look at that. Look at that screen where you can see all the different cameras going on. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Cool. So in the kitchen area, again, promotional piece, but I absolutely love it. You have a Furion residential refrigerator. Okay. Very nice and fancy. Furion, Furion. You have Furion oven right here. Microwave oven. Is that a microwave oven? Yeah, I think so. That's a regular oven. Look here. See, there's a... Ah, Furion microwave oven. That's weird because it doesn't look like a microwave. It does look it like does a... Not. Nope. Furion regular oven right there. And a Furion wow. dishwasher. Wow, a real one. Yeah. Now, just so you guys know, we will have links to Furion down in the description below. We appreciate them letting us be here and do this. You know, and, um, and a lot of this stuff that you see is for sale. 
uh, on Fear Hound's website and you can upfit your motorhome with it. You have your nice cabinetry right here. Okay. Furion CD radio player, zone one, two, and three. And then is this a wine rack? I think it is. Dad, you know you made it when you have a <laughs> wine cooler rack seller thing in your motorhome. Or you just have good credit. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, you got a little bit more storage. So this is weird, or that's weird, because there was a big window on the outside, right? You're right. Where now we have a backsplash. I love this cooktop burner because you know it's gonna suck up the heat and humidity with your Furion induction cooktop right here. Very nice. I like the little staging that they did here. You have storage below. No drawers. No drawers. Yeah. You got your cleaning products right there. Look at this. I mean, again, they. They don't use it, but that is incredible amounts of storage under a sink. And here's your sink. You have a nice big farmhouse sink. Look at this countertop. Again, they made this kind of like as a joke or a PR piece. But there's a lot of homey things in here that I think they need to incorporate into their motor homes. See, I wonder, see these, those just have screens over them. So those are windows. Electric. Electric, yeah. Fine. Can we find the switch? It's probably on here. Here, you're making everybody sick. Sorry, <laughs> you're making everybody sick when you do that. Um, oh, one of the buttons is for the helicopter. Mm. No, nothing on there. Nothing on there. It's okay, but we don't want to mess with it too much. All right. <laughs> Next thing you know, the helicopter starts coming down. <laughs> but we do know these screens do go up electrically. And then look at this modern furniture. I absolutely love it. No trifold sleeper sofa on here, folks. But this is just so comfort, comfortable. Art Deco. It's, it's full of Art Deco. Yeah, absolutely. And then across, look at this. You have a huge... Furion television. This is the biggest TV I've ever seen. Um, so let me tell you guys a little bit about Furion. When I first came into the RV industry, I didn't know who Furion was. I just thought it was another off-brand of electronics. Furion, their world headquarters is in Elkhart, Indiana. And how they made it is they make the most durable electronics out there. Do they make the best? No, they're not making the 6K televisions, the OLEDs with the curved and this. But they're making electronics that can handle potholes while driving down the road while still giving you the best picture so if you keep buying these tvs these off the wall name brand tvs for a hundred bucks and you're putting them in our your rv and they keep breaking trust me y'all just go to furion and buy the televisions or any of the electronics because they can handle an earthquake while you're driving down the road this is so nice you got the world right there and uh art deco <laughs> and you have your Furion fireplace with the nice backsplash right there. Cool. Coming into this bathroom, look at this shower. This is amazing. Isn't this, this is, I mean, look, you got, you can close this door and it's going to hit you at all angles. This is absolutely amazing. I can't hear you. Sorry. Could you not hear me at all? I don't think so. It's pretty pretty tight. That's so cool. I can That's hear you. I don't think the camera was picking up on it. Right, but it's going to hit you at all angles, and I even think it's going to hit you from vertical as well. I don't think so. I think that's just the drain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You're right. You're right. But check it out. I mean, this, this bathroom is where it's at. You got your sink there. Look, power sink. I'm pretty confident this is Furion as well. This toilet might even intelligent toilet hey is that ppp let's see how intelligent this toilet is yeah <laughs> it is porcelain it's so funny again they didn't make this for people to use it so it's not a prime pooping position because my arms rubbing across, rubbing against this it's not a terrible pooping position though is it no 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 i mean i no i wouldn't yeah. do it um but again they could have easily moved this over yeah. if somebody was actually buying it to use the bathroom 
but still pretty cool. Oh, energy saver, power toilet, and dryer. Okay, so let's check out the bedroom. So look at this. These are the tracks. Okay, check out this video. Look at this. It's the Furion. Look, with the helicopter. You gotta have the Range Rover behind <laughs> it, because, of course. Yeah, this video is so cool. Look, he has to fix his cufflinks. Yep. Here's Andrea. Oh, no, it's not Andrea. <laughs> so look, look. So it actually raises up, of course. She's pretending like there's not a helicopter landing behind her. <laughs> drinking her wine. Yep. And it drops down. He wouldn't be doing that because the helicopter would be going too fast. Yep. And then look, you're ready to join her in the hot tub. And yes, it is TVs on the oh, outside. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so cool. Hey, Matt, maybe if we get enough subscribers. Yeah, maybe we, we can could buy get one. one. You know, it's so funny because one day this, this motorhome will be for sale. You know, and it's on right oh and then this is part of it and it drops down and it's Does just close um i feel like they probably do, electronically like it is electronic yeah. yeah for sure so inside the bedroom okay oh there's nothing there <laughs> we have a nice bed that's funny you want to know what's funny this motorhome seems awfully wide yeah um, because normally the beds don't have this type of space around it. Again, there is no slide outs in here. I love how you have a big tall glass window right there. You have a mirror above you. That's pretty cool. And believe it or not, this is a very, for not having a slide out, this is one of the most spacious bedrooms I've mm -hmm. ever had. And oh, you don't want to know why? There's little to no cabinetry in here. Oh yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Oh. Ooh. Fancy. Oh. oh. The helicopter. Design pad. flaw. The vine flaw. <laughs> so you can't use your storage and your helicopter pad. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Elysium. Now, before everybody goes, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome, and three things we dislike about it. Will, what should we do first? Um, three things we dislike. Perfect, well I'm gonna go first. Okay. My first dislike is the toilet. Mm -hmm. Again, if this was real, they would have moved the toilet over some. But not only that, again, this isn't a real motorhome. But let's pretend that it was real. I feel like there's too much electronics, like, too many things to go wrong what what did what my friend mike my friend mike's a plumber and uh he's buying a motorhome from general and what he say left is hot right is cold and crap flows downhill yeah, that's right you know what I'm, we don't need an electric toilet you know what i'm saying i love all the other electronics but we don't need an electric toilet and mike said it a different way good for you <laughs> too. uh he said it in a positive way that we won't get demonetized so that's one dislike well do you have a dislike I guess I would just say bedroom storage. I mean, bedroom storage. Yep, absolutely. If you're storing a helicopter, there's no room for clothes. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're storing a helicopter, there's no room for clothes. No, I mean the truth of the matter is to get the helicopter in there, the bed got to go down it's, like toilet. Uh, yeah, full square platform. I'm sure. So, mm -hmm. you know, cabinet tray would get in the way. Yep. So, I understand. So that's two, and then three. I'm going to say these steps. Yeah. Again. I don't know how practical steps would be in a motorhome, and I don't know how you would make it even better, but these steps were very narrow. Even for me, I slipped twice coming down, um, and I knew that I was probably gonna slip coming down. But what I do at least like is that they do give you a handlebar, so you can support yourself while you're going up and down. Okay, so that's three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You wanna go first or me? You can go first. Okay, first thing I absolutely love, is gonna sound silly, I love the LED lights. This is such a nice feature. Will have found the dimmer switch up there so we can dim it up and down. And it just looks so cool and I don't know why they're not putting that in modern motorhomes right now. Everybody uses it's the puck lights. It's not that difficult, really. It doesn't look difficult. Or it doesn't look like it, yeah. And, and it looks like it would just work. 
you know. Right. And again, modern touches. Actually, this motorhome really reminds me of like the Winnebago Horizon. And I think that might have been what the Horizon was missing. And if they would have had the lights like that, it would have been awesome. So that's one. Two. I like the whole control panel. Really? Driving area of this motorhome. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you have views of every angle and and you know you know this chassis just rides like a cadillac right well not only that um i think i would like to add with all the screens and everything yeah. with this being such a big motorhome all the add-on furion screens so you can just see every oh, angle yeah. every marker light of your motorhome right. it makes it really really cool yep and definitely that's really is an awesome feature and the third thing I love about this is all the Furion appliances. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Furion plug. No. Again, I do want to thank Furion. We called them. Y'all, and I'm all like, hi, I'm Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, right? And the fact that they gave us the... One, we're in COVID, right? So everybody's freaking out. But two, they let us do the RV review here at their world headquarters. Come on. 100% respect to Furion. I really do appreciate them doing that. But the third thing I absolutely love about this is the living room setup. If I don't see this in a motorhome in 2021, I'm gonna freak. <laughs> All the motorhomes do the same thing. Look at this. This is for real luxury. This is comfortable. This is something you would find at your house. There's no dinette though. Oh. <laughs> well, do a 360. Wow. You know what, Will? I didn't even think of that, but I wouldn't I, care. I have said it before. You don't need dinettes in motorhomes, right. and I'm not saying you don't need dinettes in all motorhomes. Okay, wow. I love how there's no dinette. That's the missing piece to make this feel like this. Because here's the reality, y'all. The reality is you're eating outside, right, or you're going out to eat. Very rarely is the family eating inside anymore. And if you're big, if you're a bigger guy like me, you know you're sitting behind that tight dinette anyway. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe. And then not only, well, for this motorhome, not only that you can eat up on the roof. <laughs> but I guess you're not doing that. But again, I think this floor plan concept, other than the roof top helicopter, needs to be incorporated in at least one motorhome the next year because this is just freaking awesome. So. If anybody's from Thor or Integra or Coachman or any Forest River, if anybody's watching this video, you need to figure out how to design a motorhome to look like this without a huge price tag. What would you? What, what, I bet you at two hundred thousand for a diesel pusher, maybe two fifty to have it modern like this. I think it would sell well. Yeah, I think so for sure. But that's it. That's the review. Again, I want to give a huge thanks to Furion for just letting us come come here in Indiana. Um, no appointment made, just come and record this video. It was really cool of them. Again, they are a big corporation, so I appreciate that. Um, if you guys have any questions about Furion or anything, make sure you check them out online, furion.com. We will have links down in the description below if you want to buy any Furion backup cameras or marker lights or ovens or hot tub jacuzzis or helicopter, whatever you want to buy from Furion. We will have all that down in the description below. Uh, will, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, thanks for watching guys and huge thank you to Furion for letting us check it out. It's a cool motorhome. Yep, and I want to thank Will for coming out here because Andrea couldn't come out here. You know, we, we, we're joking around saying she wouldn't come out here, but she couldn't. You know, Andrea's a mom and, you know, we have other duties. So I really do appreciate Will, my friend, coming out here to help me record. That's it. We will never see a motorhome this expensive again. Thanks everyone for watching. Leave down in the comment below. Here's what we do. Leave down in the comment below. If you have a Fury on TV or backup camera or a Fury on everything, leave down in the comment below. Let us know if you like their product or not. Thanks so much for watching. Will, we'll see you, you next time. time.